What's going on, everyone? It's my DT here. Welcome back to Let's Challenge Final Fantasy. So, White Page Challenge. Here's part 10. Here are my. Uh, here are the stats of the White Mage, and here are stats of Lightbulb Forever. I mean, the Thief, the Bad Davis as the Red Mage, and Ultimate Mentor as the Black Belt. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. By the way, something interesting. I went through. I looked and see, you know. If there are any musicians that are atheists, and there are. The last one on the list I saw, alphabetically, Frank Zappa, or Zappa, he was in court in 1985, gave his testimony about music. Apparently there were some lyrics and such, and there was some conflict between religions and such. He himself is an atheist, you know, and I can relate too, you know, I mean, I like music, and, you know, I'm not a singer, I'm not, you know, I mean, you know, although I've uh, performed at job for before, you know, doing Call Ford. Um, well, I did one song, All In, by Kix Brooks, and, um, I think, uh, Call Ford, yeah, Call Ford. So, yeah, um, and there was a debate between the lyrics and the music as such, and I gotta say, I would happen to agree with Frank Zappa, I mean, he talked about, like, cop cats, you know, like, you have a murderer, you have cop cat murderer, like, you have... It's kind of like performances. You have live performances, and then you have someone that's that's recording it, and you know they post it online. You need ruse. Um, you need to be careful of the wizards. Um, so now let's put ruse up. I can't. I can't run either. I could try, but it's not gonna happen. So anyway, yeah. I mean, you know, it's very. I mean, I'm going to uh, use a uh, cure cure two. But yeah, I mean, it's, there's a big, I haven't, I need to listen to it again, because I'm not exactly sure about all the details, I mean, I just watched it, and I tend to forget details, like, almost immediately, like, sometimes, and, but yeah, he was in court in 1985, of course, he's dead now, he died in 1993, that was the year I was born, but yeah, it was like, there's this conflict, you know, apparently he was, uh, there was legal problems he was facing with his music. And, uh, I gotta say, I support, I support his, um, statements, and his, um, and what the, uh, government says, you know, and he says he has four children, two of them were in the courtroom with him, and he says he wants his children to live in a country, to grow up in a country, that, you know, doesn't, that they don't have to worry about being judged about what they, like, to do. damn, two quick in a row, nice. And, you know, they can feel free what they want to do, what they think, or what they choose. Not because of what the government says and such. And I gotta tell you, I do support that. I mean, look at this. You got these churches and such that are supported. But yet, yeah, atheists, and not, well, not just mainly atheists, are the most judged. I haven't had someone on Facebook who said, Oh, you're, you're not an atheist because you pick churches. It said, like, where are you going? One, and I assume it said heaven, and another one that showed hell. I chose number two, you know, I, and I even say, you know, no, um, let's see here. I said that, um, you know, I'm just choosing as if, you know, there was one, you know, as if there was an afterlife for such or God or such, you know. Well, assuming there is one, I'm not, like, just because I choose one, I chose number two, because, you know, is I know, you know, there's a chance of going to hell. I mean, there's a chance of an afterlife, you know. But then again, there might not be, you know. So, you know, and then... So here's the thing. If I choose, it automatically makes me a believer. So if I say I like a song from a, a metal band, does that mean I'm a big fan of them? No. Absolutely not. I mean, I like music from all sorts of people. Chess try first, run. Alright, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's just like seem like us atheists seem to be run, try run. We seem to be critically judged, you know, based on what we feel is right and what we believe. I say enough. It's bullshit, you know. I say if you don't like it, just go away, you know. No one cares, you know? At least I don't care. 
Run, please run. Paralyze! I'm game over! Oh, cured? Nice! I gotta wait for that, um... For the bat to come out here. Oops. I do need to heal, though. I mean... Like... I don't care. I mean, I used to be a Christian. You know? So... I can't really say anything bad, you know, about, you know? I mean, if you believe in God, fine. Not like I can stop you, you know? I need to do something about the, uh, bat. Let's see here. Well then, my luck is just going down the drain. Alright, Earth, you can't run from this. If you get critical hit, that's like over 200 damage. Let's go ahead and put three rues up. And we're going to drink. Hold on a second. How many hard threes do I have? I got three. I can spare a cure three. And let's go ahead and drink. As I think Earth can do 227 or 230. So let's drink one more time. You know, if it's critical hit. So let's go ahead and take Earth down. I'm not just like, I think it's like, it's a 1500, no, it's 1536 experience, 768 gold when you kill Earth. Earth has like 300, he has like 288, um, health. So it's gonna take a while. If I manage to get out of this cave, we gotta come back again. So we gotta take that ruby to the, uh, we gotta go, uh, to another part of this game and give this ruby to this little blue dude that's uh, blocking the path to another part of the game. Which is in a cave, and I forgot the name of the cave, so, yeah. Rest assured, I will get this challenge done. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but, you know, even if I pass away before, you know, I get done, which I'm hoping I won't pass away for a very long time, you know, like decades and such, um, you know, at least I gave it a shot, you know. But I, but considering I'm getting the parts out like no tomorrow, I mean, you know, I do love this part. I mean, and what I also think about gaming as well is, you know, even if I don't like a game, who knows? Maybe I can do a let's play of it, you know? Maybe I can do a walkthrough for it, you know? Maybe a blind let's play, you know? That way, if I get to a part and it and I'm like beaten down, you know, unfairly, I can be like. Oh god, what the fuck, piece of fucking shit, god fucking piece of shit. Sorry about that, by the way, I say god effing a lot. I say that a lot, I need to stop, I apologize. Okay, Earth showed, uh, Earth showed up there, that was 20 gold. What is up with that freaking bat? He needs to get out here now. Wait, there's another way to get in. Um, I think so. No. Four wizards. You know what? Considering I, I think that bat's not really going to move, I'm just going to let these wizards kill me. And see if that's going to reset it, you know? So, first time ever let myself... Uh, yeah, you can't run from these dudes, so... Thank you, wizards. You've done a good job. You've helped me. Now, look, I'll get ambushed by a bunch of guys or... Images and I won't be able to run from it. Be like, fuck! Well, just run from it. Nice. Awesome. I don't think about, you know, re trying to get an encounter close to the stairs. I just go for it, you know? Because, I mean, you got a good chance of getting, you know, attacked anyway by a undead. So, yeah. All in all, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, I got pure. Let's go ahead and fire one off. Nice. So, only three health. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So, let's go ahead and continue. But, damn. Ever since all, I, ever since I saw this challenge, you know, on the mentor, I think... I think it was actually earlier this year. I think it was about the time I became an atheist. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, I really do enjoy this challenge. It's since, I got nine, since I got max heals, I might as well go ahead and spend one, you know? 
you know, even if it's, I mean, if it's at least like 13 gold or, I mean, if it's like 13 health off or such, I'll consider. Okay, wizards. Got the first ruse off. Yeah, they can still hit hard as if, like, you don't have ruse off. See? 91. Alright, let's go ahead and put a heal up. Alright, so let's go ahead and fight the wizards. Try to save as much, um, as much magic as possible. That's why I bought the maximum. That's why I got a maximum of 99. You want as many as possible because, you know, if you happen to run into wizards, this can be very troublesome. And I'm, I don't think, you know, level up is going to do mu much good, but, um, I'm concerned uh, that is a possibility because, you know, the higher your level is, the higher you're leveled up, the um, the more likely things like wizards will run away. But now, but they're not going to run away now. I don't think they start running away until you're, like, in your, until you're about halfway to level 50, which is like level 25, I think, or 30. I know, or maybe when you're in, your, in level 40, but I know when you're at level 50, most of not everything starts to run away, you know. Tyra runs away at level, when you're at level 50. Let's just put it that way. Giants run away. In fact, just about anything that you fight, except for the bosses, of course, they will be like, Ah! Oh god! Wait! Mage! Run away! Before you get blinded by the colorness of it. The snowy whiteness of the white mage. Ah! He's got magic. Ah! I am so allergic to it. That's you. Yeah, you better get away from me before I beat you with this hammer. Or like everybody's Chris, you smack him in the hell with the brick. All right, yeah, you could go hit me, but I could go hit you too, bitch. All right. Choose one, one of these, and then we're going to use heals. All right. Tip number two. I guess you could. I guess you could just consider this my first attempt. I mean, I mean, oh no, I'm, there's no getting around that bat. So yeah. Monster strike first. I'm probably going to get Mo down. Oh, there was. I thought there was only seven for some reason. I wouldn't really pay attention. Yeah. You know? Oh well. Okay, let's try put let's put one ruse up and see how this goes. Oh, I'm gonna die to some freaking wolves, ain't I? All right, I had that. I got out of that. <sighs> when it said my strike first, I'm like game over. I probably need, I'm probably gonna need to grind again for some more magic because I need to come in again. Jeez. Give me a break, game. Oh god, run. Ooh, I ran, nice. Um. I want max health. Now, this is the vampire. You w want. To take him out with harm three, hopefully one harm three. Hopefully you get to go first. There's just two things: he's either going to strike at you, or he's going to stun you. He hits very hard, and if I'm not mistaken, he hits about as hard as a giant or a zombie. I'm not exactly sure. Or he'll paralyze you. So he's like a mix of a zomb. He's like a zombie and an image. So let's go ahead and take him on. All living things were born to die. No one could defeat me, the vampire. All right, harm three. Let's um see what I can say. Let's um take a deep breath. Let's inhale. Put our hands up and unleash harm three. Or he can paralyze me. 
Hard three, go! Or he could just paralyze me again. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it! I just needed one turn, but no, it wasn't gonna happen. You want harm three, cause that will likely take about, I, I think it has about 180 HP or something, I'm not exactly sure. He'll likely succumb to the power of a harm three, but since he got to go first, yeah, he hits hard. No, he hits about, he hits harder than Tyra. So yeah. Now, like, I won't even make it to him. Cobra. Wait, I noticed this. Oh my god, is this gonna happen again? Is this gonna be that time where that bat, you know, is gonna be my way? Oh god, Gargoyle. Let's run. Hopefully, we'll be able to run. I'm probably dead now. Okay. Gargoyles, you want to be careful because if they show up in groups like that, I thought I was going to die. I thought they weren't going to strike me, you know. But I lived. I'm away. I'm away. Really? Alright. I'm not worried about ass, even though that really hurts. That's alright. There we go. Third time's charm? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, bull, we can run away from a bull. Oh, nice, we got the chance to go first. They're worth the 489 golden experience, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's not good. Oh, I ran. Okay, good, very good. I thought that was game over. I thought I was like, yep, I got the vampire. Now I'll even get as close as I did the first time. It reminds me of American Ninja where it's like you're unknown at first and you do well and you're known and it's like what the fuck is this? I lose. Oh my god, I lost! I can't believe it! Okay, time to ruse. Okay, we got to heal after this. We got I'm gonna use one cure two and hope that boosts me back to maximum. I was about to be like, or you can kill me. Alright. Wizards are pretty much no problem now, but they can still hit you for critical hits of 98. And that's very, very hard. But at least now we got a better chance of hitting, you know? The higher your level, the more likely, uh, the more of a chance you are to hit and be accurate. So yeah, yeah. Now you understand why I have all these heals. So yeah, and plus, if you get into four battles of of um five. Uh, if you get four groups of five mummies, and you manage to do that, or you go to power potential and get two battles of four zombies, that gives you, you got enough money for the rest of the inn, some tents, and maximum heals, and some, um, and some, uh, pures. And that's telling you anything. There we go, first one's dead. If I can just get critical hits, if I can just get luck with critical hits, that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. Just like that. Of course, now look, he'll turn around and smack me with a stick. What are those? Canes? Oh, I'm wood. You know, the face reminds me of the guy from Futurama. Yeah. I think there's a guy that has a face that I think owns a shop or something. Restaurant. I'm not exactly sure. It's been a while since I watched it. I don't know if it's still on. I think. I think it, it's, uh, I think it went off the air about a couple years ago, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if it's still on today, but I used to watch it, you know, every now and then back in the 2000s. There we go. But yeah, I haven't really watched it recently, so I, I'm, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But I think it has gone off the air. 
I mean, not completely off there. I mean, they still show, like, especially on Comedy Central, they still show uh, reruns. I think on Dollar Street, yeah, Dollar Street used, used to show it. Now it doesn't. So, yeah. Um, I know Comedy Central still shows it, yeah. Alright, rematch time. Will I get revenge? If I get hit, hopefully it's hopefully I don't get stunned. Hopefully I'll be alright. Arm three. Okay, that it first off. Let's use cure. I mean harm three. Oh alright. Yes. He is done for. Let's go ahead and use some heals. Yeah. Oh god, no, oh, what the fuck? I was right in front of it, too. I was about to grab the ruby. I'm dead. You fucking troll. Oh my god, I knew it was gonna happen, too. I knew it was too good to be true. Ah, fucking ass with tired. Birds of barbed wire. Coated in acid. With spikes. Set on fire. With the rocket from the cyber demon that explodes on impact. Ah! Fuck. I'll give this one more go. God, I can't believe that. That's bullshit. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Nope. I'm going the wrong way. Fuck! Strike first. Wow. Fuck. No. Damn. Holy fuck. I did not expect to get ambushed like that. So let's see. Item. And uh, I, that happened. That can happen as well. I mean, you can get there. Defeat the damn vampire. That's like I said. That's don't expect me to make it look as easy as I made the Marsh Cave look. Cause it's not. Look at this. Yeah, go ahead, why not? This is why you want max heals. And cure 3 and harm 3. Because if you don't have harm 3, that vampire is going to fuck your day up. Chest try first, let's go. Yeah. I think it's this way. Okay, four green ogres this run. Holy fuck, wanna hit me any harder? I don't care. I get 2,000 gold anyway. I'll be able to replenish my inventory anyway. Okay, four gargoyles. Run. Please. There we go. Just like that. Okay, how does this floor go? How will I be able to... And that's the thing. You come back and you have to go even further into the cave. See that red thing? Yeah. That's, you have to go to that area, that cave, and give the ruby to that one guy, and he'll eat it, and you'll be able to come back with a rod after you visit the person after that per after that, um, troll or such, you'll be able to lift that up, and he'll take you to Lich, which is a boss, carrying an orb. Ah. Uh. And then, of course, I don't even get as far as I did the first time. God, I'm dead. Fuck off, guys. No wonder Ultimate Mantoid took a break from this. You know, a long break. Because you, I can go level up. I, I fucked it up again. And yeah, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. If they don't run, you're fucked. You are absolutely screwed. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. If everything would just run, I'd be alright. That's what's fucking screw me up. And the fact is, you know, especially if they get the chest strike first, you're fucked. It does not matter what you do. No matter what armor you have, I mean, you can have all the armor in the world. You can have all the health in the world. You can have a thousand health. You have two thousand. But if you don't get out of stun, you're fucked. 
you are absolutely screwed. There's nothing you can do about it. So you gotta be care you gotta be mad careful. Which is why I fear this much more than the Mars Cave. At least the Mars Cave, you have a very good chance. <sighs> okay, here. Fuck off, thank you. That's only 10 health, I'm not gonna worry about it. No, I probably should worry about it anyway. Yeah. I can run away from this, no problem. Nice! Four wizards, let's try to take them on. First, rooms. Alright, so we got four rooms up. Now we'll be able to take this without much problem. If I don't get on this turn, I mean, if I don't get on this go, I'll just call it a video. Man, I can't believe I made this much progress <clears throat> in such a short period of time. I mean, in like two weeks, or in the past week, I get as far as Ultimate Mentoid. I mean, I don't get as far as him because I didn't even get the freaking ruby. I got right in front of the box, and it's like, no, you will not tie with him. If I can just get out and save with it as well, that will put me ahead of Ultimate Mentoid. I mean, I... Of course, you know... I want to see him first before me, to be honest. I mean, first I'm like, I can finish this, no problem. As long as I look at his let's plays. But then again, it's like, you know, why not let him, let the person that actually did the let's play and is currently doing the let's challenge finish it first, you know? I mean, it'd be very entertaining, you know? Um. So, yeah, um. I think if I don't get it in this video, I'll give it one more attempt in the next video, or in the next part. And if I don't get it, then I'll just have to go grind, you know? Of course, grinding? I mean, it, it, gives you, it gives you a better chance of things running away. So it'll help with the undead, but what, it won't really help that much. I know Odd Eye will run away if you're in level 20 or such. I know we're not... Or at level 22, so I might level up to level um, 18 in another part, or in a part after part 11, if I absolutely need to. But yeah, fucking gnat on the screen, that was fucking annoying as a fly. I know I swear a lot, I apologize for that. I'm a sailor, yeah. <laughs> Not a Navy Sailor, but I'm like, my own Sailor. Oh, I swear a lot. Yeah, I don't care. No, no. You don't like it? Go away. <laughs> there we go. Item. There we go. Alright. Get out of my way. Bats. Thank you. Oh god, no! Game over! Fucking hell! Dead. <sighs> I didn't even get to him! That's my worst performance! Or I, I, I don't get it! Oh my god! The fuck you guys looking at? I'm dead. Go away. Thank you. Here's the thing about it. I can go level up. That'll give me a better chance at. Well, I'll give me more health, more magic. It'll give me a better chance for the enemies to run away. But in the end, these guys hardly ever run away. So in the end, I'm just wasting time, and I'm just wasting time making videos, converting videos, uploading them, putting them on playlists, saying, hey, guess what, I did this. You know, putting hashtags in them, or tags, you know, 
Oh, say in the description, put the tile up and such. So, in the end, it doesn't really- I'll let this go up three minutes, I'm explain myself. So, I can go level up, but in the end, it doesn't matter. I call this the wall. This isn't even- We're not even close to getting this game done. We still have Ice Cave. Now heard Ice Cave is even worse than this. So, and you need all the antis you can get, that's why I bought them, that's why I took me so long to even get here. And, yeah, you can grind all you want, but I don't want to have to grind all the way to level 50, or 40. I want to get through this. I don't want to have to, you know, take so long, and I'm recording everything. I want to show that this is possible. Not to mention there's Tiamat, and there's some other enemy as well. We got these enemies that are really tough. You think this is hard? We got things that are much harder. Even probably harder than I can even begin to imagine. So yeah, I'm going to think about this. I'll probably, like I said, I think I'll give it one more go in the next part. If I can't get it, I'll go grind. But yeah, until next time, I'm Mount D18. I hope you all enjoy my suffering, my pain and suffering. I, despite the frustration with the undead, I enjoyed this part. But that part at the treasure chest was just a fucking troll. Process sucks. Until next time, I'm Mount D18. Peace out, everyone. While I go find ways to keep my sanity. Ultimate Mentor reference. LOL. Haha. <laughs> Peace out, everyone.